Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Asui Ken Kinsley. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an Instagram sized video. If this is your first time of being to my YouTube channel, you're welcome to my YouTube community. Feel free at any time to drop your comments and also ask any kind of question. For you to create an Instagram sized video, which is one by one ratio, or portrait, which is phone sized video, which is um, 9 by 16. Once you open your Filmora, before you import the video that you want to create as an Instagram sized video or phone sized video, you have to first of all come to File, New Project, and specify the size of the project that you want to create. If you select 16 by 9, this is widescreen. If you select 1 by 1 ratio, this is Instagram size. Then if you select 9 by 16, which is portrait, which is normal phone screen sized video. This is 4 by 1, which is still Instagram size video. And this is 21 by 9, which is cinema sized video. So if you select 1 by 1, which is for Instagram, this screen will automatically adjust to that particular size. So anything you're importing in this software, once you bring it into the timeline, automatically it will take the shape of this screen, the specified size. So let's choose one by one ratio and import, let's say, a video. Okay, let's drag this thing into our timeline. The first one says match to media, which is you want the screen to match the exact size of the video that you want to import. But no, that is not what we are going to do. The second one says, keep project setting, which is keep the project setting that you already selected from the file and one by one ratio Instagram size. So we're going to use keep project setting. You can see, this is exactly one by one Instagram sized video. But the video did not cover the whole screen. So what you have to do is double click on the video, on the timeline. Now drag the video to make it fit so that there won't be any space. So this video, this is the exact point that is going to be showing in this video. All the spaces will not be showing. So we'll drag this and shift it by the left so that it can be in the center. So when you're done with anything you're doing, once you produce this video, this video will be exactly in this one by one ratio. Now, assuming you want to create a phone sized video, you have to select 9 by 16 portraits, which is our normal phone screen sized video. So let's select it. We're not going to save this project. Going to import the video again. Drag the video, it will still pop up that, win that, that window. Keep project setting. As you can see, this one is phone sized video. The size of this video is quite different from phone size. This is portrait, while this video is landscape. So, this one is another one. This one is also compatible with Instagram, which is 4 by 1 standard. If you import this video and drag it down to your timeline and keep the project setting, 
as you can see this one also fits in well in Instagram application but I will advise you use one by one ratio which is the very best if you want to create an Instagram sized video then for those of us that are doing YouTube widescreen is always the best don't save widescreen is just the full screen once you import this project and bring it in your timeline if you say keep project setting it will cover the whole screen as you can see the whole screen is completely covered so if you want to create an instagram size video you have to use this one by one instagram ratio size if this video was useful to you in any way please give it a thumbs up if you would like to be seeing this kind of educative video in the future please hit the subscription button and also the bell button so that you'll be notified once i upload a new video i'll see you guys in my next video you guys should stay creative